You reign, O God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. 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 Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Ooh, thank you, Lord. <laughs> thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Our God is a good God. Again, welcome everyone to the Kange household of faith where we bring to you the word of restoration in the, in the spirit, spirit of, of faith. faith. Another day of talking about the goodness of God, God's expectation for us, the things that he has set for us, and, 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 and you know, the miracles he has done. We are back to the word, learning, understanding, and moving forward. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hi, Pastor Griffith, welcome, welcome, Minister Bless Keshama you. Plummer. Hello, Evangelist Evelyn. Welcome, Pastor Evelyn. Hello, Minister Kathy Beckett. Hello, Minister Tolu. I hope everyone had some rest after the <laughs> marathon we had at WIMS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Marathon indeed. Hallelujah. Hi, Minister Sowell. You'll be there by God's grace catap in Catapult 2022. Okay. I'll be there waiting for you. <laughs> Hallelujah. The Lord is indeed faithful, 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 faithful. It felt so good meeting some of you for the first time and hugging you. It was beautiful. Outside of the word and the presence of God, the, the fellowship was phenomenal. Uh, listen, the, the WIMS 2021 was like a snippet of what heaven looks like. Ooh. It was awesome. It was awesome. You meet wonderful people that are sold out for God and we were all able to just come together and bask in the presence of God. You know, we, we came ready. We were fired up. We were prayed up. We came with an open heart, ready to receive. And then we had this beautiful teaching on how to receive, right? Oh, yes. Oh, uh, listen, it was phenomenal. I hope you are able to go back to Wims and just listen to the, the, the teachings over and over and over again and over and over and over again. One of the things I've noticed, Pastor Peter, is that when you, when you listen to the Word of God, when you listen to a recording, you will notice that there are some things that were said that you didn't hear. Right. So the second time you listen, you will hear things you didn't hear the first time. The third time you listen, you will hear things you didn't hear the first two times. It's like that because when you pause to write down a nugget that just hit your spirit. At that time when you're writing down, the person who is speaking continues to speak. Right. So you might miss a thing or two uh -huh, uh -huh. before you catch up again with the next sentence. So when you go back to, to listen, you'll be like, wait a minute, I didn't hear that the last time. Right. But it was said. Uh -huh. So it's a beautiful thing. Yes, yes, Mr. Tina is <laughs> still processing. Minister Barbara says the demonstrations were amazing. Yes, that's one of the things that we, I believe will stick with many people. The illustrations that you had, mm -hmm. you know, those things remain in us. Many people learn better with visuals, you know. So the illustration you did using Pastor Devon and Pastor Neri, talking about um, someone having to go a certain path, and then you find yourself in a situation, you meet an obstacle, how you deal with the obstacles, mm -hmm. you know, an excuse, what mm -hmm. do you do? Mm -hmm. You know, how unforgiveness will stretch out its mm -hmm. hand to say you cannot come any further. Right. You know, all of those illustrations were very, very powerful. Mm -hmm. How do you deal with this? And sometimes we want to look for a detour right. around the situation. Mm -hmm. Like you, you, did, you did the illustration about the elephant in the room. Mm -hmm. You know, all of those things are things that I believe will remain with us forever. God told us 
that WIMS 2021 was going to be something that we will reference for the rest of our lives. Right. You will always make reference to it moving forward, saying, I know when this happened to me, WIMS 2021 changed my life forever. Oh. And, and one of the things God said to us before we went for WIMS was that we were going to have experiences that we'll be able to say we've never seen it like this in this fashion. Mm, and on. we saw that in yeah. manifestation. Yeah. You know, where we, you could see people literally being animated by the power of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know we have had some, you know, some, permit me use the word crazy, some crazy manifestations mm -hmm. in the midst of offerings. Mm. But that offering at whims, mm. where it's like you, 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 you take hold of your offering and God is pleased with what you're about to give. Even yeah. before you can give it, right. He, right. he responds right. to that Ooh. move from your spirit man My by God. moving upon you before yes. you can even put the offering in yes. the basket yes. it yes. was phenomenal yes it yes. was fen it, the atmosphere the presence of god was so tangible you could cut it with a knife it was like god My is God. saying i am excited about this i approve of this it was amazing Ooh. that offering right pastor evelyn <laughs> thank you and, and, and that just, Lord, that, that just makes you understand what, what an exchange looks like. Yes. Because even in, 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 in the book of Kings, first Kings, when Elijah is dealing with, with the eradication of falsehood, mm -hmm. you know, Baal and, and mm -hmm. Jezebel mm -hmm. and, and all of that, you know, he calls down fire because there was a sacrifice. You know, sometimes when, when we dive into into that particular scripture, we may not think about it, First Kings chapter 18. We mm -hmm. don't think about it. But as you go through First Kings chapter 18, you find out that water came out. Mm -hmm. Right? Water came out. And that was not all. There was a sacrifice that was put on that altar. Now, at a time when water was of... A scarce supply limited supply yeah. where was all of that water coming from yeah. right the Bible says they actually soaked the altar with water yes it was drenching wet that's the point you see what an offering looks like so when you come before the Lord and your offering looks like that and God says wait a minute I am coming down and taking care of this uh, it, it was just so powerful you know what happened at Wim's you know, with, with that whole session of, of the offerings, it was powerful. Amen. It was powerful. You know, I was doing a study and someone said something. And, you know, sometimes people say things and you just go, wow, interesting. But you know how in the, in the book of James, the Bible says, Elijah prayed and, mm -hmm. and the heavens were shut. And then he prayed and the heavens were open. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the, the person said this, and I found it to be interesting. He said, e Elijah prayed for the heavens to be opened so rain will come down. But he never prayed that the heavens would be open so that uh, um, fire would come down. And I was listening. Hmm. He said he didn't have to pray because the sacrifice had opened the way. Oh, wow. Hallelujah. So you have those kind of things in the Word of that's God good. that, yeah, 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 that, that's just... You know, that really stands out. And, and we bless the Lord for that. We bless the Lord for His faithfulness. So we are excited about what God did at, at, at Wims. It was powerful. So child of God, when you put your, uh, your sacrifice right, guess what? You don't need to pray that the heavens will be open for fire to come down. Because fire will naturally come down to consume the sacrifice. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah, Minister Tina says my container is well positioned to receive. Yes, Ooh, that was that, that was, was another oh, illustration. Yeah, my yeah, yeah, father, yeah, yeah, my yeah, maker. Yeah. That was listen. That, was deep. <laughs> that illustration where you had the bottle, yeah. and you were pouring out the water, mm -hmm. and uh, you used Minister Felicity for the illustration, and she had to. Her assignment was to position the cup mm -hmm. where the water was flowing, and that is how you receive. Yeah. And, you know, some people have their cups facing upward, so the water is coming into the cup. Some people have theirs upside down, yeah. so the water is spilling. <laughs> 
they are unable to retain anything. Right. Some people have their cups sideways. Oh, Jesus. And my goodness, that illustration will remain with all of us, I want to believe. It, is it, isn't forever. it powerful to realize that our personal disposition within our community of, 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 of believers it, it, it is, is really key to the advancement of that community. Yes. And then your personal advancement. Yes. Because the entire community can be advancing. You are present, but then you're not receiving anything. Right. Uh, and oh, well. And how our filters will determine what we receive. Our stereotypes will determine. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, oh, my God. That was powerful. Hello, First Lady. If we are, God bless you, woman of God. Amen. Pastor John says the scriptures came alive in such a tangible way. Amen. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> She's blessed she didn't come with a teacup. That's right. <laughs> I didn't either. We were determined that we we're going to come with some humongous containers. Right. Somebody said they came with a train. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Pastor Evelyn says one of my ladies said her expectations she came with weren't met. And she's so glad because she had encounters and she's grateful for the ladder. All right. So they, God surpassed her expectations, I guess. Hallelujah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You were there, first lady before. That's right. Listen, this is one woman of God who stayed throughout WIMS mm -hmm. virtually. Okay. I mean, first lady, we are so grateful for your tenacity. Thank you for your patience. And she was helping us out with the sound, giving us feedback. Because when we started, we, we had some challenges with the sound. But she, she stayed. She was determined. I think she and Minister Laura, those two women were on, on, on Zoom throughout for all the three days. They, they did not move. <laughs> so thank you so much. It was a good time. Other people came on here and there, but this particular two, I, I noticed that they were there throughout. And it was also such a blessing, Minister Felicity is, is talking about that. Such a blessing, knowing that we had uh, um, uh, a combination of nations. I think the number was either 25 or 27 nations, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, that. represented in the cause of the program that that was powerful i mean we are talking about people who logged in from different places and people who were present in the room in the room yes in the room we had um uh, people you might as well call them delegates you, you know we had people from 23 nations in the room mm -hmm. and then the other ones were were logged online that was amazing that was amazing 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 we had people from Puerto Rico. We had people from, that was, oh my God. God is unique. There was someone, I believe, from Mexico. Yes. Um, from different places. Um, St. Vincent, Ghana, Italy. Trinidad. Trinidad, Cameroon, Nigeria, South Senegal, Africa, South Africa. Africa. Yeah. Angola, yes, um, yes. Liberia, Nigeria, yes, Central African Republic, yeah. um, Uganda. Okay, someone just said it was 24. Ivory Coast. Says 24 nations in the room. 24 nations yeah. in the room. Rwanda, Rwanda. was present. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sierra Leone. Yes. Yeah. Uganda. Australia. Yeah. Australia, yes, yes, yes. yes. Oh my God, Father God is so good, it, so good. It was, it, it was, it was wonderful. Me now. <laughs> yeah, that was that was something. That's that was right, something. Guyana was present in the room. Yes, <laughs> God is good. Okay, the list just popped up. Saint Vincent, Nigeria. I, okay, there we go. Yes, there we go. Yes. Liberia, all right. Hi, Minister Osha. Good to have you. Yeah, we had... We Hi, had... Minister Kimberly. I missed you. Yeah, woman of God. I was so looking forward to hugging you. I know. You. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all so, right, me... so that was really powerful to see all of those nations. Yeah. 23 nations in the room. I mean, this is... 
This is the first time we are having whims, and it was a blast. Yeah. The hunger of the people. Oh yeah. It was the reception. You know, we talked about the reception. Yes. The reception was good in the room. The 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 flow of the Holy Ghost was just mm. something. Mm -hmm. You know, um, we we had a good time. We yes, Mr. Ashley, Jesus is the purse. How many of you <laughs> remember? <laughs> yes, Th that statement Woo! shook the place. Like Peter, a I remember you, you, you said something over and over and over. You just kept repeating one phrase in that scripture. Jesus told them not to take any purses. Ooh. They didn't. When when they took no purses, they lacked nothing. Yeah. When they took no purses, they lacked nothing. Come on. When they didn't take any purse, they lacked nothing. When they did not take any purse, they lacked nothing. And you stayed at it and stayed at it and stayed at it. And finally, you said because Jesus was their purse. Yeah. Who I can't even explain how that hit me. I just I just realized I was standing all the way. <laughs> of the altar screaming because it was it was definitely a, 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 a tangible revelation that came with so much light yeah 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 yeah, yeah. I was, I was in that moment you realize how how worry has no place mm. in the life of a child of god especially after we had had a teaching on legitimacy oh Yes, man. At this point, everyone was so convicted about who they are in Jesus Christ. And so, that revelation that Jesus is your purse, it eliminates worry. Yeah. Like, why am I worried? Yeah. If Jesus is my purse and he's the one sending me, he foots his bills. Ooh. Oh, that was such a powerful moment. You know, I, I, I want us to do this. Can we look at that scripture real quick? Okay. So, so um, the scripture itself is in, in, in Luke 22, but let's, let's look at it from where the story began, which is Luke chapter 10. Okay. So in Luke chapter 10, this story begins to, to unfold, right? So let's go to Luke chapter 10, and it, it's okay to start from the first verse. So we, we can just read through. Luke chapter 10. After these things, the Lord appointed other 70 also and sent them two and two before his face into every city and place whither he himself would come. Yeah. Therefore said he unto them, The harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest that he would send forth laborers into his harvest. Go your ways. Behold, I send you forth as lambs among wolves. Yeah. Carry neither purse, nor scrip, nor mm -hmm. shoes, mm -hmm. and salute no man by the way. And into whatsoever house ye enter, first say, Peace be to this house. And if the son of peace be there, your peace shall rest upon it. If not, it shall turn to you again. And in the same house remain eating and drinking such things as they give, for the laborer is worthy of his hire. So now, this is, this is interesting, Pastor Pauline, because even today, God is sending us out either as a single team, a one-person team, or two-by-two, two, or a multi-people team, but he sends people out. Mm -hmm. And it is this thing where he says, the same way the Father sent me, that's the same way I am sending you. And then he sends them, and then he says, the laborer is worthy of his hire. Mm -hmm. That is powerful. Sometimes people think as a servant of the Lord, you ought to be beggarly. Mm. You ought to suffer. Now, the world cannot pay you but Jesus can. Oh, yes. Amen. Right? Jesus can. And that's the reason why the word of God also says, No weapon formed or fashioned against you shall prosper. This is the inheritance of the servants of God. So protection is part of the provision. Amen. Amen. Oh, that's good. Protection is part, it's of, the part provision, of the provision. You know? And, and so God has made it in such a way that we, we would go on doing the work of God without lacking. Now, I remember during the, 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 the summit, during whims, you, you were talking and you were saying, God will not give you a jet plane if you don't have need of it. 
Right. So he knows where you are in terms of the walk. Yes. Right. He knows where you are in terms of the walk, child of God. And so if something is needed for the work, he is going to bring it. Yes. And you are also uh, permitted to pray for something if it's needed for the work, because he said in, 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 in the book of John, he said, you're not the one who called me. I am the one who called mm -hmm. you. So you will bear fruits and that your fruit will remain. Mm -hmm. So that whatsoever you shall ask in my That's name, right. you know, it will be done for you. So we know very well that there are uh, a bunch of prayers that are answered because they are in connection with the work. That's right. And so you were telling us that if, if you just don't have anywhere to travel and you just go from here to over there, you know, what, whatever, <laughs> whatever over there is. Why would you need a jet plane? Right. That, that, that prayer is not going to be answered because it is just going to be sitting there. Right. And if you have one and you're not using it, the master is going to require it and transfer it to someone else who has, who need, has of need of it. it. Right? The same way that he, he talked about the donkey. Mm -hmm. tell, tell the owners that the master has need of it. Right. right? So God is doing that kind of transfer all over the world. You know, we talk about, oh Jesus, that's it. We talk about the wealth of the unjust, you know, being transferred and coming to the mm. just. And it is part of that collaborative effort and that provision system that God has put in place so that his people have no lack as they do the work of God. So that's, that's amazing. That's amazing. Mm. So he says the laborer. So he calls us laborers. laborers. He calls us laborers. The laborer is worthy of his, hire. of his hire. Wow. You can go ahead. Keep reading. So he continues to say, Go not from house to house, and into whatsoever city ye enter, and they receive you. Eat such things as I said before you. Abby! <laughs> well, we'll continue this conversation. Minister Abigail, you and I will continue this conversation. Eat such things as are said before you. Right. And hear the sick that are therein, mm -hmm. and say unto them, The kingdom of God is come nigh unto you. But into whatsoever city ye enter, and they receive you not. Go your ways out into the streets of the same, and say, Even the very dust of your city, which cleaveth on us, we do wipe off mm. against you notwithstanding we notwithstanding be ye sure of this that the kingdom of god is come nigh unto you Amen. but i say unto you that it shall be more tolerable in that day for sodom than for that city woe unto thee do i go on oh no okay we're good we're good so 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 that's what the word of god you know ha, um has put in place as, as provision as we do um, the work of God. So mm -hmm. this is said over here, right? Mm -hmm. And and we can also look at um, John 20. So we are going to look at John chapter 6 and John 20. But let's go to John 20 first. Okay. So Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Hey, Dr. Davis. God bless you, man Hello. of God. How are you? Good to see you. Okay, so we are John 20. So John 20, we will start from verse 19 so that we, you know, we read it in, in context. John 20, 19, then the same day at evening, being the first day of the week, when the doors were shut, where the disciples were assembled for fear of the Jews, came Jesus and stood in the midst and saith unto them, Peace be unto you. And when he had so said, he showed unto them his hands and his side. Then were the disciples glad when they saw the Lord. Then said Jesus to them again, Peace be unto you, as my Father has sent me, even so send I you. You see that? Yes. If, uh, as the Father has sent me, in the same way I send you. Now let's go to John chapter 6. Hallelujah. Let's go to John chapter 6. John chapter 6. So we are going to start reading... We'll read verse 57. Verse 57. As the living Father hath sent me, and I live by the Father. Yay. So he that eateth me, even he shall live by me. 
This, verse, verse, yes, go ahead. This is that bread which That's right. came down from heaven, not as your fathers did eat manna and are dead. He that eateth of this bread shall live forever. So you see, that's the point, right? So, so Jesus is the purse. <laughs> so in case you're doing the work of God and you're thinking, where are the finances going to come from? How am I going to do this? How am I going to do that? Jesus is saying, you don't need to worry about that. I am everything that you would ever need. Right? I am the one who, I mean, I am the one who hired you. Mm -hmm. I am the one who hired you. And then, of course, you know, we, we can go back to, to, to look where we were. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Isn't God faithful? Thank you, Lord. So that'll be Luke 22. Thank you, Lord. Luke 22. Yes, man. Where do we begin? So Luke 22, we can do 35. We can start from there. Okay. Luke 22, 35. And he said unto them, When I sent you without purse and scrip and shoes, lacked ye anything? Yeah, so, so that's it, right? And they said nothing. And they said nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and they said nothing. I mean, I, when I sent you, did you lack anything? And they said nothing. Now, Pastor Pauline, th there is something, though, that Jesus um, got to speak about. I know a few minutes ago we were saying, yeah, we are back from the fasting and all of that. And it's important for people not to come into you know, a place where they begin to overindulge, right? Mm -hmm. If you read the previous verse, verse 34, he says unto them, he says, and take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged. See that? Make sure that your heart is not... Where are you? Where, where are we? Hold on. You are in a different scripture. Okay. Man of God, take us along with you. Don't leave us behind. Where are you? Yes, ma'am. So I'm, I'm in the next chapter. Exactly. I'm in the next chapter, chapter 21. <laughs> chapter 21, um, um, verse 34. He says, and take heed to yourselves. Are, are you there? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, take heed to, your, to yourselves. Let at any time your hearts be overcharged with suffering and drunkenness and the cares of this life. And, and so that they come upon you unawares. So you don't want to be in this place where instead of being focused on Jesus being your purse, Jesus being the one who takes care of you because he's the one who hired you, you begin to focus your mind on the things of the world because that focus will get you into that overindulging. And it reminds me of another illustration at Wims. Listen, guys, you guys know we always retreat upwards, right? Yeah. We retreat upwards. So we came out of Wims, we're retreating upwards. Yes. So we don't say, oh, for those two days that we didn't eat anything. Was it two days, three days, or whatever, that we didn't eat anything? Now I have to load up on the ice cream, load up on the, on the cake, and load... No. Don't overindulge. <laughs> How many times have you eaten today? <laughs> anyway, that's one. Why. Don't tell us. <laughs> one time. <laughs> Amen. That's supposed to be for fun. But you know, <laughs> and, 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 and in verse 35 it says, For as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Mm -hmm. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye be what? Accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the son of man now i know this talks about jesus is coming and so on and so forth but it doesn't exempt its practicality in our lives right daily, now daily living yeah our daily living right this minute we just came out from there powerful teachings have happened and so on and so forth that's wonderful. How we carry ourselves on from here on out is absolutely, absolutely, absolutely important. So when we stay in that prayerful place, watching and praying and doing all of that, we that's that's how you retreat upwards. Yes. 
okay yes. that's how you retreat upwards so you want to stay in the word because the enemy you know you know we talked out of mark chapter 4 mm -hmm. and then we talked yeah, about the parable about of the that. sower yes. how it applies right because what typically happens is when you hear the word of god if you haven't sat on it and incubated it to the point where it becomes one with you or you become one with it something is going to begin to happen the enemy will come thinking he can snatch it from where mm -hmm. it is and and you have to make sure you know we talked about that in the about um talked about it when we talked about receiving mm -hmm. right you have to receive the word of god with then gladness. with gladness, gladness with meekness right and then you sit on it incubate that word yes until you become the word because when you become the word it cannot be taken away from you yeah Right. And we have to remember that the word will be tried. The word will be tried. So yes. we have to guard against offense. Yes. Ah, that was powerful. Like, stop right there. Mm -hmm. So we have to guard against offense, knowing that the same way that gold is tried, right? Mm -hmm. And the word to, to, to be tried over there is the word for purify, mm -hmm. right? So, so this is the thing. The word is pure, Pastor Pauline. The yes. word is absolutely pure. Pure word. Pure word. Then it comes and it meets... All kinds of things, culture, <laughs> it meets preferences, you know, likes, dislikes, and so on and so forth, stereotypes, right? And, All and, kinds and of the word types. says to you, <laughs> we need to go to the fire. You, mm -mm. yes, I belong to you and you belong to me, but let's get it. We have to get into the fire because mm. I need for you to be like me. And, and so you get into the fire, the word is tried, and, and you have to own it. The, the illustration we had where Minister Ashley was the one who spoke to minister netty and then they had a minister netty had to you know speak to someone else we were talking about the importance of owning yes. the word oh that was and, good and how that plays out if if you have not owned the word then you will not experience a trial right so when you are regurgitating the word you speak as referencing whoever told you you don't speak like someone who is the originator of the conversation yeah. instead of saying i am healed you say well the pastor said i was healed yeah <laughs> or you you instead of talking to someone and say jesus died on the cross to set you free mm -hmm. so i believe if you give your heart to the lord you will be free you say well um sister so and so told me that jesus died so you have not yet owned yeah, so the i'm just saying what sister so and so said yes right so that information is not yet yeah. yours you have to to merge there has to be a fusing yes uh, you know between you and the word that has been given to you you have to own that mm. word and the moment you own the word the trial comes and and you overcome because yes. you, you're telling yourself i am not going to leave this word another thing that was very um convicting is when you talked about how offense causes miscarriages yes that was huge because we we, we were talking about yeah. how jesus had gone to his hometown yes you know and and Mark the people six. became offended yeah. because they knew him basically they, yeah. they said we know you we know your family and so on and so forth what is this that you're coming to tell us right. in other words there's no way you could have escaped this environment that you grew up in and be delivered from this environment right. that now you're coming back <laughs> so that we can be delivered by the way what's wrong with us that you're trying to deliver us that's what offense looks like yes. right? and so we want to make sure that we stay away from offense so that the word that god has given us doesn't escape us that's right that's right hallelujah hi minister nakoya oh my I god i hope you got home safely and soundly Thank you again for all, the, all of you who were able to check in with us on Facebook. We said when you get home, please check in and let us know. Hallelujah. Hi, Mom. Good morning. Thank so that you, was, Jesus. That was very significant. That was very significant. Yes. You know what God was saying. Yeah, Jesus is our purse. Mm, my God. So, so, guys, let's just say this, right? So many people who heard about the last phase. The last session you know we're saying I, I really wanted to be there oh i wish i was there I, I wish i was there because that last session it was just something right mm -hmm. um so so please when you're coming to the event plan accordingly so that your departure time you know is way after everything is done yeah. You, you want to be able to keep your departure time that way. I mean, some of the people who had come for the prayer summit, 
I believe they learned. So this time <laughs> around, they yeah. were not trying to leave. <laughs> yeah. But it it was beautiful. It was my God. Yeah. Woo! Jesus. That's right, Pastor John. Listen, there are nuggets that are coming in, so I'm reading okay, the feedback go ahead, from go ahead, people. Man, go ahead. Pastor John says, when we deny the word, we also deny our harvest. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that was that was intense. Yeah, yes. Yeah, when yeah. we deny the word, we also deny our harvest, and we don't want to deny our harvest. Mm -mm. We 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 put seed in the ground, and then when the time for harvest comes, we want to be able to reap the harvest from what we sowed. Right. So when you step into a place where now you're beginning to wonder if the word works. Mm. And again, back to the illustration, you are in the kingdom of God over Ooh. here. But if you take your ears to listen to stuff that is coming from outside of the kingdom of God, you can be in the kingdom, but your results don't resemble the kingdom because your hearing is outside listening to information from the kingdom of darkness as opposed to information from the kingdom of light where you belong. So yes, you are a legitimate child of God in the kingdom of God, but your results don't match what you're supposed to be experiencing right. as a child of the kingdom because you have put your ears to information that is outside of the kingdom, Ooh. which is supposed to be your home. And right. then you talked about the two fathers. <laughs> Pastor Peter! Yes, ma'am. My goodness. Did you all hear when he talked about the... the let me tell you how it hit me. Okay, so just hold the fathers, right? <laughs> so in Luke, in Luke, Luke 8, 18. And by the way, yes, sir. I always like the way some of the numbers of these very important scriptures come together. <laughs> like you read 20, 20. And mm -hmm. then, you know, this one is, is Luke 8, 18. Take heed therefore how you hear. Mm -hmm. For whatsoever, for whosoever rather, For whosoever has, to him shall be given. Mm -hmm. And whosoever has not, from him shall be taken even that which he seemeth to have. So, so, so this is interesting. So it is based on what mm. you're hearing that things are taken from you or given oh, to, you. to you. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Take heed! Yeah. Take heed, take heed, take heed. Yes. Take exactly, heed. Minister Lisa. People go to hell because they have the wrong father. I know. When you said that thing, I was sitting next to Minister Ashley. <laughs> I looked at her, I was like, oh. So people are simply going home. Yeah. You go home to your dad. Right. So if you're serving the devil, hell, hell is your, your habitat too. because you're going home to your dad. Uh. No, I'm serving great Jehovah. I'm going home to my dad. It's called heaven. Yeah. I was like, no, <laughs> this is so true. Yeah, that was that was powerful. And then, of course, we 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 no, you were talking, you were the fathers. We we are the fathers. <laughs> now. It's, my God, my God, my God, my God. But That's listen, right, guys, Mr. Amaka, you said her departure time will not be before service ever again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That was that oh. was exciting. So many nuggets, so many nuggets. You know, you know, growing with my pastor, I remember the day that, w you know, we had a program like that and one of our brothers was leaving. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of my brothers was leaving. So I, 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 I tried to talk to him. I said, I don't think you should be leaving. He said, no, I need to go. I need to catch my flight. He's at this time. So I, I spoke with him for some time and he said, oh, no, but I have to go. I have to go. I said, so you can't change your flight or something? No, I have to go. I have to go. I was like... I don't know, but it doesn't look like you should go. And and so I he, we entered the vehicle. I was going to go drop him off. And as we were on our way, I still said to him, I said, do you really think you're supposed to? I think we should go back. Anyway, uh, I don't know, but God intervened and we went back. And when we got back, mom said, good for you. <laughs> and then we discovered his ordination had been scheduled for that, for that day. day. And I was like, oh my God, oh my God. He came to me, he said, what is this? Because it, it, it's amazing. So his ordination had been scheduled on that day. Had we not come back, had I not spoken to him, he would have missed his ordination on that day. 
I mean, when you grow up under a pastor who is just telling you that it is important for you to hear God yes, for God yourself. For and, and you know, like you, you talk with mom. So why would you, why, why would you do that? He said, well, I have to give myself the benefit of the doubt. If I am moving you from point A to point B, and you don't get the revelation of being moved from point A to point B, then maybe I'm the one who's wrong. Because all of us are children of God, and none of us has that perfect place of hearing. Mm. We, we know in part, and so yeah. on and so forth. And so sometimes you can get your pastor into second guessing what he has heard because you're behaving like that is not in your world. Right. Child and of instead God. Instead of them to quickly say you are off, they would rather say maybe I'm the one who didn't hear right. Yeah. So I'm just going to put this in prayer and wait. Oh my God, that was yeah. so powerful. And, and <laughs> Jesus Christ, I can never forget that day. Never, 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 never forget that day. And, and you can imagine, the, the fact that I was giving him a ride, I would have also missed that intense service. Oh, Whoa. Yeah. my God. <sighs> anyway, to God be the glory that he knows how to cause us to triumph, yeah. right? Because that was the mercy of God at oh, work. Oh, yes. Now, I, I can go back saying, you know, I, I spoke to him. But the truth about it is that the fact that he had a flight ticket, mm -hmm. the fact that he was set to leave, and all of those things did not also give me a strong footing. Mm -hmm. I didn't have a strong footing to tell him not to go. Plus, I wasn't an authority in his life. Right. I was his brother. Minister Maka said, Yes, Daddy, Holy Spirit told me to change our flight since Friday, Saturday, and even on Sunday during the service. Okay. Missing our flight. Oh, blood of Jesus. Okay, so you guys didn't change your flight, and you still ended up missing the flight and traveled. Okay. I made it to Dallas at 12.30 a.m. on yeah. Monday morning. Monday morning. So this is the interesting thing because I remember having a conversation with Minister Maka and trying to say, um, now, now I'm saying trying to say, but I was saying, you know, there is a way you can move this, you know. You don't have to return this rental car right now. It doesn't matter. You can pay the difference, you know. But I think, Minister Maka, you were set on traveling. And, and, and I really pray that none of us will be caught up in, in this kind of thing of because jesus. flight ticket or no flight ticket may we hear the voice of god in the name of jesus okay may we be able to hear the voice yes. of god and not be overtaken by these things yeah. right flight ticket or no flight ticket right yeah. so that if you're in the midst of something because god can take you from your job and give you a word Listen, we are people of the Spirit. As many as are led by yes. the Spirit of God are sons of God. Or sons of God are led by the Spirit of God. If you keep yourself in tune, right? Like a scripture I was looking at earlier on with Pastor Pauline. If you are in the Spirit, also walk in the Spirit, yes. right? Also walk in the Spirit. When you walk in the Spirit, you minimize the competition that you may have with the earthly elements. Oh, yeah. Okay? You're able to deal with, with, with those things. Let me just read it. It's out of the book of Galatians. Galatians mm -hmm. chapter 5. The two last verses. And that is going to be verse 25 and, and verse 26. It says, If we walk in the Spirit, let us also... If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Let us not be desirous of vain glory, provoking one another, envying one another. You know, that, that second part has you know something else to say. But it's saying, if we live in the Spirit, we should also walk walk so let your conversation the, the way you do things right be 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 ordered by the spirit yes if i am going to the store and while on my way to the store the spirit of god whispers to me to do this or do that i should be malleable enough and i shouldn't say no i went to get this and that's it right L listen listen guys you know, we, we were having a conversation about this the other day. I have found out that it is easier to tell someone, God said this, 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 so that they would do something than to say it to yourself so you would do what you're supposed mm. to do. 
right? So, <laughs> Ms. Amaka says, yes, daddy, you told me, and I was so mad at myself because I was trying to please guess. Okay, well, that's okay. That day is gone. It's yeah, a brand it's a new, new day. day, okay? It's a brand new day, woman of God. So we, we, we are, you know, stepping into doing things right. Sometimes some things happen to us so we will learn a lesson. Yeah. A lesson that has such a strong emotional impact, right? Mm -hmm. Because it, it was of no use for you to have left and then missed your flight. Mm -hmm. So you miss your flight and miss the service. And oh Lord have mercy. That last leg of that service. Yeah, that last leg was something. You bless the Lord. Anyway, thank you, Minister Maka, for being transparent and allowing and, and yourself to that, be vulnerable yeah. enough for your example to be something that all of us can learn from. Yeah. Because these things happen to mm -hmm. to children of God all over the world. It is not only for, it doesn't mean you are less of a child of God or anything like that. It's a teaching moment for all of us because yes. there are always reasons and mm. the, the reasons are always very genuine and, and important. Yeah. You know, but <laughs> it, it has to take the, you being intentional about um, placing the voice of God above the circumstances. But because the circumstances are there, yeah. they are tangible. You, you, it makes sense. Yeah. You know, it's Sunday. Oh, People have work on Monday. So there are those different things you're saying, you know, I need to do this because I have to be at work at this day. You've calculated everything and you put everything in place. So wherever uh, you are right now, um, I want you to get into a place of prayer. Now, I want you to hear what I'm saying. Uh, so that we pray, you know, from a place of agreement. Number one, pray that anything that is coming to replace that which is tangible in your life will be taken out right now, oh, right gosh. this minute, right this minute. There are, there, there are people you're listening to me and, and, and um, maybe there is something that's coming to take your job. Maybe there's something that's coming to take your business. Maybe there's something that's coming to take things that you have. We are coming against that right now in the name of Jesus. We are coming against elements of impersonification in the name of Jesus. That's right. Someone just got what I'm, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, that's right. It's like God just took a different tangent right now. All, all things that are coming to attack what is yours, take what is yours in the name of Jesus. We destroy them. We destroy their mission. We render them powerless in the name of Jesus. May God give you the ability to unveil them in the name of Jesus. May you discover the places, the instances, the moments that the enemy is scheduling. That the enemy has put in place in order to replace the authentic with the counterfeit, with the fake, in the name of Jesus. If you are in a place of expectation, maybe you're thinking you don't have avenues where you take this prayer topic, but even as you're listening to me, there are areas in your life where, for example, your health, where the enemy is trying to bring Bring an, a negative report to replace uh, um, um, a good report. So even with matters like that, we rebuke that in the name of Jesus. We rebuke that in the name of Jesus. We rebuke that in the name of Jesus. But so you know, I'm, 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 even as we are praying, um, the Lord took me to an information. We were praying for someone. And then I was asking them about a situation they were going through because I saw some of their body organs. I actually saw, you know, um, um, a demonic spirit mm -hmm. that had accessed their bedroom. And from the top, I could see some body organs hanging up the top. And I said, hold on. Do you have experiences like this, like this, like this? Because I see that your body organs have been taken from your body and they are hanging up here. Well, this transaction is not completed in the spirit. They are trying to do this. And so let's pray that there will be a reversal. And that's the kind of thing that I see God doing Thank even you, this Jesus. minute. Thank so you, even if it's your body organs, your finances, contracts that the enemy is manipulating mm -hmm. with right now, uh, bank accounts that he's, he's tampering with right now, applications that, that you've put in uh, that the enemy is tampering with, we come against every element with which he's using to tamper what, what God is releasing to you. We come against, you know, abortions. We come against miscarriages in the name of Jesus. You're going to have what is yours. 
Right now, in the name of Jesus, right this minute, in the name of Jesus. And Pastor Peter, it takes me back to some of the things you said when we were at WIMS. The illustration you did concerning offense, how offense will cause a miscarriage. Yes. I don't know how many of you have had several opportunities to take offense. When, from when you came back from Wims, mm. please don't take the bait. Come don't on, take come the on, bait. Come on, come I on. pray that you'll be able to identify Jesus. this is a setup of darkness yes. to cause a miscarriage of everything that you received at Wims. Wims was an incubation time. It was a time when we, we were impregnated by some tangible things in the realm of the spirit that if you allow offense in your life you will be it will cause you to abort that which god wants to do you will not come into the manifestation of that which you received because miscarriage would happen but it is not your portion in jesus name so please if you are in a place of offense or you've discovered that you've been offended from sunday for whatever reason pull yourself away from that place come on. quickly in the name of Jesus, the devil is a liar. Yeah, yeah. The devil yeah. is a liar. I, I mean, there are, uh, permit me use the term accusing voices. Mm -hmm. Okay, there are accusing voices. You know, things will be said, but the enemy will bring it to you in an, in an, uh, um, uh, uh, in an accusation. Mm -hmm. and, and remember that he's the accuser of the brethren. Yes, he is. The moment you pick on accusation, you would have uh, activated offense. Yeah. Because now you are, you, are, you are brothers with the accuser of the brethren. You know, no, not so, so it is not Jesus. our portion in the name of Jesus. Amen. I, I know we went on the side there, but you know, um, the devil is a liar. Yeah. You know, we, we, we had to move like that. And that's what yeah. we are talking about. Mm -hmm. when, when you are doing whatever it is that you're doing and, and information comes to you, go ahead and handle it and don't say, oh, I'm in public, how can I pray here? Mm. You may not know what aspect of your life you're dealing with at the time so spiritual things are matters of life and death so we must honor the word of the lord when it comes to us in that manner in the name of jesus Amen. we also talked about how to welcome the word the word of god at the door yes. you know when the word of god comes at the door how to welcome it by the way this is where i was going before we you know we had that switch one of the things we're looking at in the book of genesis right mm -hmm. is the fact that Oh, hold on, hold on. Let's let's go to this scripture. <laughs> I'm liking this. Okay, okay, okay. Calm down, sir. <laughs> Jessica Ajay. I hope I'm saying your last name right. Jessica Ajay. So we. You you are in a place where God is beginning a new journey with you, and um, you've had experiences in which you find yourself being too hard on yourself. Or you get to the other extreme where you are like, oh, anything goes. And God is bringing you in this new season in a place of balance where there's a healthy sense of responsibility. I know what I'm supposed to do and I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do. Mm. And if I, I find myself getting lazy or getting lax about the, the, the requirements or the things that I know are necessary for my growth, I will not excuse them. I will pull myself away from that place and put myself in a place of discipline by the spirit of the living God. So there is this new place that God is bringing you into. It's going to require a, uh, a higher level of discipline from you, but not in a place where you can also be so hard on yourself that you function in self-condemnatory mode. God is bringing you into that place of balance. And it's going to be tangible because he wants to bring some new um, relationships into your life. And as he's bringing in the new, it's bringing in the new because he's taking out the old. So there's a shedding of the old and an ushering into the new. So you're in a place of a change, changing of seasons. So be keen to the changes that God is bringing into your life. In Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Praise All right, God. Genesis. Yeah, we, we, we remember the, the scripture we looked at, and that was a major... Um, um, eye-opener for 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 many of us at whims mm -hmm. genesis chapter 2 where the word of god says when god created adam he created adam male and female mm -hmm. and um the fact that when god was speaking to adam and saying don't touch you know of this he wasn't speaking to 
a man. He was speaking to the male, male and, and female, female Adam species that yes. he had created. Right? Yes. That's what he was talking to. And then when he said, you know, it is not good that man should be alone. Uh, he was speaking to Adam. This is verse 18. And the Bible says, out of the ground, the Lord God formed every beast and so on and so forth. And he brought them to Adam, verse 20. The Adam in verse 20 is the male and female Adam, mm -hmm. right? And the Bible says, in that same verse 20, it says, but for Adam, he, there was not found and help meet for him. Mm -hmm. So this is the male and female, you know, um, Adam that we are talking about. And God caused a deep sleep. So it is only in verse 21 that he pulled out the female section of that male and female um, um, thing. So we, we saw clearly that the statement that says it is not good for man to be alone was not man in terms of the gender, right. man, but it was man as male and, and female, female, you know, and, and we saw all of that. And so that was really powerful that, that we looked at that. And the fact that when, you know, so many people have said that when God was talking to Adam, the woman was not there. When he was giving the, the, the blessing instruction. and the instruction to dress and keep the garden? Yes, that the woman was not there. But that's not true. Right. Because we see it differently here in the word that he spoke to both of them at mm -hmm. the same time. So people have said, some people have said, well, um, the reason why Eve made a mistake is because Eve, um, Adam had traveled wherever he went to. He was supposed to be there with her all the time. And, you know, these are different things that people have said, maybe because of their own, you know, stance. You know, but but um, there are statements that have gone away from what mm -hmm. is clearly written in the Word of God. So God really helped us to look at these things and and to you know um, come into a place of enlightenment yes. to know that as women we are not left out of the come original on. plan of creation. That's right. Because if you take out the woman from Genesis chapter one. It means the woman will forever be secondary. That's right. it. Genesis chapter one is the place, and 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 if you take out the woman, then the woman is an addendum. Mm -hmm. So in legal terms, an addendum represents something that is added to to the to the the, the legal precept mm -hmm. that was in the first place. So that was there in the first place. So that will just be a throw off. So the woman will always be secondary. Because we saw all of this when we're talking about legitimacy. Right. So the woman is part of the equation from the beginning. From the beginning. Because that's what restoration is. Yeah. God is returning his people back <laughs> to the, the, the days of Adam and Eve before the fall. Yes. So w w the male and female walking in authority yes. and walking in collaboration. Right. Yeah. And, and, and coming into that place where we begin to realize that the man having dominion over the woman was part of the curse, the curse. that that was released Ooh, upon the woman. Good. Yeah, it, it wasn't. And, and, and this this is important. Um, when, when we looked at it, we, we saw the curse as a, a, a two sided sword. Mm -hmm. It cut the woman at a certain point and cut the man, too. Yes. You know, because it comes and it says, you will rule over, over her. her. Okay. Her desire will be unto you. Now, well, if her desire is unto you, you could find that as being nice. Mm -hmm. But it is a curse. It is a it curse. It doesn't matter how you look yeah. at it. It is a curse. And Jesus took away that curse yes. and dealt with it. Galatians chapter 3. Yes. So we are not Amen. going back to a curse. We are being restored to Adam and Eve being Be together. Wonderful. Before the fall. That's right. That's the restoration, right? Amen. Because the perfect world is in Genesis chapter 1. That's right. That's a perfect world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So this is exciting, guys. Oh, my God. It's 945. <laughs> this is deep. I'm telling you that. That's how it was at Wimps. I know. <laughs> you deep. lift up your head and you've been in service for six hours. You're like, what? Yeah. It did not feel like it at all. So on the first day, we started service at 7. Yes. And we closed after midnight. Yes. That was something. <laughs> but okay. The very next day, we started service at 8 in the morning. Yes. And we went on till 4. Uh-huh. 
And then we had a little break uh-huh. and came right back yes. and went all the way till past midnight. <laughs> That's that's how it should be. That is how the disciples had services and people were coming out of, you know, things were happening. <laughs> Mr. Maka, you're ready for another wimp. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, another wimp is coming when it is going to come. But the next thing right now is we are headed for the catapult and it is going to be wonderful. And let us manifest. Debras are arisen, so let's go forth and manifest. Come in with our Amen. harvest in the name of Jesus. Go forth and judge in the different spheres that God has called you to judge in. The Bible says that uh, Israel knew rest for 30 years because of Deborah being yeah. the judge. Yeah. And that's what should happen with you. If God has called you into education, Deborah, go forth and judge in that sphere. Mm. In the name of Jesus, in politics, in healthcare, whatever the sphere of influence that you've been called into, recognize what your sphere of influence is. Step in knowing that you are legitimately the the right person for the job you've yeah. been chosen by god and positioned to do that which you're supposed to do so step in there with confidence knowing you are called to do this and do it take away the excuses deborah was able to set up shop under a palm tree hmm. don't wait to have an office in downtown dc before you can do no set up shop under a palm tree if you have to whatever it would take for you to do what god has called you to do do it and God reminded us that finances is the last thing. Yeah. So no more excuses of, I don't have money, or I don't know a man. You have God. When Mary said, how will these things be? The angel of the Lord said, the power of the highest is going to overshadow you. Mm -hmm. So you might be saying, how am I going to do this? I don't know anybody. Mm -hmm. You are in good company. Mary said the same. And the power of God was what she needed. The power of God is still what you need. Mm -hmm. So the Debras have a reason. We are looking forward to the manifestations of what it means to arise as a Debra. So Amen. go forth and judge in your different spheres in Jesus' name. Amen. I heard a question that someone was asking. So how do we judge as Debras? Maybe that will be a conversation we are going to have on another day. Okay. You know, but we are going to see because we can always look at that and, and carry out a teaching on how, you know, a reason Debras ought to judge. Because you could arise as a Deborah, and if you don't know how to pass judgment, then, you know, that's going to be problematic, right? And the so. word to judge in itself has become a controversial word yeah. that we really need to look into <laughs> scripture to understand what that word truly means in mm -hmm. the context of scripture. So God is going to help us, right? God is going to help us. You, you know, um, there's something that, you know, the Lord whispered in my ear a few minutes ago. I'm not, I'm not, um, it's not one of those things I'm going to be talking about now. But we are going to see how God is going to put things together. But Pastor Pauline, we are going to come into some relationships. There is a, the, there are ministers. And I could see this particular woman and that said, you know, I, 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 it was whispered to me, who is going to be part of what? It is coming. Let's just put it right there. And and uh, the fact that we've mentioned this little portion is good enough. So when that comes, I'll remind you guys of this day. Okay. I'll remind you guys of this day. Let's see how God is going to put all of this together. But it is going to be powerful. Amen. Powerful. Oh, this is so good. Pastor Peter, I have to read this. Pastor John says, legitimacy takes away my right for neutrality. Yes. Remember that? Yes. yes I am not an orphan. I am a legitimate child of God. That's Come right. on, Pastor John. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. It takes away my right for neutrality. That was intense. Okay, Nakizo Curl first. Could you also teach on transitioning between ministries and obeying God to move? We have several teachings on that on the Kange household of faith. So I can't tell you exactly which one. <laughs> so maybe you give yourself an assignment. Go to Reaching the Nations Ministries and start watching the videos or YouTube and just watch the videos. You will find several videos. There was uh, like three or four um, broadcasts that we, we dwelt on leadership, pastoring, Jeremiah 3.15, the whole transitioning, how it should be scripturally speaking yeah you could do that and hey we might get to it again 
Hallelujah. Yeah. But well, that, that, that is something that's necessary. It's important for people to know how to transition. If God is moving you from one ministry to another, which is possible because God is the owner of the kingdom. Mm -hmm. And if we are functioning as people of the kingdom and he is our Lord and master, he, he positions his people where he, he sees fit. Yes. And so seasons change in our lives. And the seasons, the changing of seasons can also... Uh, um, incorporate changing of um, assignments, locations, whether geographical or, or, or location or in terms of ministry location. So how you transition from one to another is important. You don't want to burn bridges. You want to make sure you transition right. And it takes humility to do that. And um, Yeah, and I talk about it in my book. Thank you, Minister Ashley. Yes. Um, do we just hit the link to the broadcast and go on? Uh... Mr. Tracy, are you referring to the, the teachings at WIMS or you're referring to prior broadcasts on Kange Household of Faith? If you go to the, the Reaching the Nations page, you will have all the, the you hit videos. It will take you through all the, the teachings we have done, the broadcast on Kange Household of Faith. That's one way of doing it. Um, YouTube, you go to oh, Ka Kange Household of Faith. referring to WIMS. Oh, referring to WIMS. With WIMS, we will send out a recording for the entire weekend for all those who registered. So if you didn't register, well, Miss Tracy, you did. <laughs> so everyone who registered will get the recording for the, the the entire weekend and then you'll be able to go over it again and again we'll make sure that you get it amen amen hallelujah well 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 um i believe that'll be it for tonight yes sir um i would have loved for us to go three more hours <laughs> but that's it for tonight we had a wonderful time with the living God. Yes, yes, Pastor yeah. Evelyn. I'm a son. Me too, Ooh. me too, me too. You had a beautiful time. So we are looking forward to the broadcast on Thursday. But Pastor Pauline, where are you going to be? Where are you going to be next? Tomorrow I am ministering at um, Women of Value. They Women have, of Value, They have okay. a virtual uh, meeting. I'm ministering there and, and it's at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Okay. I, I think we have the flyer posted on our personal page. We'll do, we'll do it. We'll post it also at Reaching the Nations Ministries page. And then on Friday, I am ministering at another virtual conference, TAC and Friends. It's going to be 9 p.m. Eastern Eastern time, 9 p.m. So, so I believe when the announcements are going on, you have some of the flyers uh, mm -hmm. posted. And, um, and then on Saturday, we are in Delaware with Pastor yes. Ellis Fegbangmi yeah. at um, um, an RCCG church. Yeah, Redeemed Christian uh, Church of God. Yes, we'll be there on Saturday. Yeah. And son no, Saturday, you are there on Sunday as well. Mm -hmm. But the rest of us will be back at Reaching the Nations Ministries for Sunday service. <laughs> we love you guys. It was wonderful spending time with yeah. you. And um, we look forward to more of such fellowship times other than that we are going to be seeing you on thursday at the kanga household of faith it is always a delight to come into your homes and we are grateful that you can come into ours god bless you have a wonderful evening or morning whatever your time may be it is always a delight to fellowship with you on the kanga household of faith and you can always go to the video that we were showing earlier on. It is on the ministry page, Reaching the Nations Ministries. I'm not sure if they're able to replay that again, but um, you can always go to Reaching the Nations Ministries or even on our personal page. Yes. And um, you'll be able to get that. There are many of you who are also doing your best to connect uh, with us, um, uh, but we, we just want to encourage you. The best way of connecting with us is going to the ministry page and sending friend requests through the ministry page or, or whatever that is, it is better that way. Just like and follow. Yeah, just like and follow. And follow and, the page. And, follow and that would be wonderful. 
Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, amen, praise the Lord. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. So remember, we are going to keep, some of you have asked questions already. Yes, we do have 31st night service, and we will keep you guys informed on what the venue is going to be and, and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. But yes, we are always excited um, um, being at our 31st night service. That is usually a service that we don't want to miss. Mm -hmm. People leave from different places and come because... You know, um, um, House of Restoration, where we fellowship, is the, is the headquarters. And so all of that, you know, mm -hmm. um, um, uh, ministries under us want to connect. And some of them actually come. Some of them connect um, online so they can be part of the service and follow what God is yes. saying for the following year. It's usually phenomenal. So we look forward to seeing you guys very soon. The Lord keep you. The Lord bless you. Strengthen you. Cause his face to shine upon you. The Lord bring you into a lot of beautiful things in the name of Jesus. Amen. You stay put, you stay faithful, for the Lord will reward your faithfulness in due time in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you and see you all very soon. See you on Thursday. See you on Thursday. So bless you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So, it's time to do business with God. Yeah. And to me, during wind, to see how in the time of offering, mm -hmm. God came in and just blew us out the water in the water. Moved. He, he like, moved. he moved. Yeah. You know, you, you hear about Abraham, all this prophet, mm -hmm. they gave an offering, mm -hmm. and God did something, yeah. right? And we, I mean, I don't know about you, yeah. you know, we talk about offering, but it just, this moment, to me, it was, it was, it was amazing. It made me look at offering from a whole new perspective. Yeah. Oh my goodness! It was it was it was amazing. Yeah. It was amazing, amazing. Yes, it was. You know, so at this point, as you are preparing for your offering, just get your offering ready. Yeah. Right. Get your offering ready, and not just so I'm giving offering. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Take it to a new a new level. What are you expecting? Mm -hmm. What do you want to see? What level do you want to get to? What are the promises that God has given you that you want to see the manifestation of it? Yeah. What are you believing God for? What are you believing God for? And we clearly saw again at whims that the offering, and I'm sure those that were in attendance realized that offering, they, they can't look at offering the same again. Oh, no. And that was also told to you by the man of God. Never, if you go back to your, or when you go back to your home church, never look at offering the same again. Because God truly moved. He's seen the intentions of our hearts. He's seen what we were giving. He's seen our sacrifice from the beginning. I mean, we fasted from Friday to Sunday. Like, we actually, we weren't hungry. There was no evidence of any of that. And I believe that from the manifestation of what happened or took place this weekend, God saw that and he accepted it. And because of that, it was like a whirlwind in there. Like everything, just the angels were everywhere. The glory of God was everywhere. The glory cloud, it was amazing. Oh my goodness. If we can just go back just for that day, just for that I, moment. I will. Yes, <laughs> it was beautiful. So yeah, don't look at your offering. You too can tap into that yeah. even now and say, Lord, I wasn't at whims, but I want to experience what they are talking about. And you believe God for that because there is no realm, there's no distance in the realm of the spirit. So hold your offering, believing, okay, God, what they are talking about, I want to experience. It, it, it was just, yeah, so. What, what about you, Minister Abby? I mean, I'm just thinking about that and the way you say, yes, you want to have that experience and also be open. Mm -hmm. 
because mm-hmm. I think even for us being that we were fasting, like yeah. there are things that we had already forgotten about. Like you're saying, we, could, we didn't even remember about eating. Mm-hmm. We were not hungry. It's that position, as we are being told about our disposition, yeah. where you're like, Lord, here I am. Mm-hmm. I'm open. Mm-hmm. Teach me mm-hmm. this that yes. I he- I'm hearing about. Because yes. once you're open, then the Holy Spirit is able to flow mm-hmm. in however he wants to flow without any limitations. Yeah. So be open. Be open. Be open. And you will see what will happen. Mm. Amen. Amen. And I mean, I'm believing that you have already got your offering ready. If it's a, a paper money and it's folded, mm-hmm. please unfold it right now. <laughs> unfold it. Make it look nice. Yes. Right? Because this is an offering. It's a God. And, yes. and we, we heard that today, if you prepare an offering and your heart is in it, Mm-hmm. You don't have to call for God to send the fire. No. Automatically, He will send the fire, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's not the amount. If God gives you a specific amount, go for it. Don't worry about what's going to happen tomorrow. Don't worry about what's going to, because God knows what tomorrow is. Yes. And He knows how much you have, yes. He knows what bills you have. Yes. And he still asks you for that specific amount. Mm-hmm. So imagine if Elijah didn't do what he did, mm-hmm. right? For the fire to come down to consume that offering, mm-hmm. there will probably be no rain for maybe some time more. You never know. Mm-hmm. So give your offering and believe God. And th- this one I can't stress it now. Yes, yes. Believe God. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't make it another offering. Yeah. Make it their offering. Yeah. And believe God that God is a faithful God. Amen. And He never fails. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Let's pray for our <laughs> <laughs> Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. You are the all-consuming God. The loving God. And Father, you say anyone who will come to you or anyone who will seek you will find you. Anyone who will knock, you will open the door and the one who will seek will find you. Lord, we bring our offering to you. And you have shown us that our offerings are not just something that we need to do because it's a service. But this is a transaction that we are conducting with you. Not because you need our money, but because you want to go by the principles that you have set before us so that you will use the, our offering as a gateway to reach out to us and to pour out your blessings. Lord, we thank you and we pray that you look at our offering and send your fire to come and consume it so it will be a sweet smell unto you. We bless you, O Lord. Thank you. For the things, the blessings that are coming and the ones that have already arrived. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Announcement. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> yes. So this weekend we will be, this weekend, right? This one? Yes. Oh, yeah. This Saturday. Yes. We will be at Abundant Life Center um, with their worship revival. And Pastor Peter will be ministering on both days, Saturday and Sunday. So you are more than welcome to come. And more information about that will be posted below. Um, what else we got going on? Um, catapult! catapult! 20, 22. 22. Right. April, it's in April. Please make sure. Don't, as, as for the people who have been coming, when we say registration is open, you know what you need to do. You go in and register and don't wait until the last minute. Don't say, oh, it's all the way in 2022. No, register now. Yes. So you at least you will know you will have accommodation. Yes. So, yes. Let, let me add this to it. This is not the one that you say, oh, I'm not sure if I'm going to make it because it's not next week, right? So it's all the way in April. 2022. Not even all the way. <laughs> so you you have enough time yes. to plan. Yes. 
right? To take off. To take off. Yeah. As a mother, mm -hmm. make it the whole weekend. Yeah. Yes. Take off. And book your ticket after the service. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> you, you get at the better price too. Uh, exactly. Uh, yeah. It's called you know, street smart, right? Yes. Yes. Last catapult was amazing, so you don't want to miss it. Um, just like whims. Lodging went out really, really quick. So go ahead and register again. The link is below. We love you guys. That is it for tonight. We will see you on Thursday. This is Conge House of the Faith, where we're bringing to you the word the of restoration, restoration in, in the spirit, spirit of faith. God Bye bless Zoom. you. Bye. Bye, guys.